Hey guys, how's it going? So, mail day from Mithril Yo-Yo. So this is from Brian Lowe, and for those of you guys who don't know, he's just released a new yo-yo. So this thing's a bimetal, it's kind of rounded, it's really nice, and for those of you guys who watched my previous video on the Mithril, uh, sorry, on the Indie, um, I really, really enjoyed that yo-yo, so I'm super excited to see what's inside here. Um, I've seen a lot of pictures of this thing, a lot of cool graphic design kind of things. So, yeah, I'm very curious to see what this thing is like. Could have probably done a better job with this unboxing. Alright, you know what, let's try a different angle today. Alright, let's go from this side. Alright. Okay, that probably could have been done better, but... Okay... So this... Oh my god! What? There's two yo-yos in here. This is crazy. Um, I was only expecting one, so I am super, super excited. Okay, here's a note. <laughs> Brian. Hey guys, how's it going? Nah, I'm just kidding. Yo, Brandon, what's up? Here's the teal monolith you requested, and while we were at it, turns out the machinist sent me an extra B-grade one in the copper colour you liked. Apparently, there's a small scratch somewhere near the rim. Let's see if you can find it, but I still think it looks fantastic and plays smooth, so I figured I would give it to you as a little surprise by sending you two yo-yos. Oh my god. Hope you like them as much as you as I do, and see you at AP. Cheers, Brian. Ah, ah, oh my god. So I remember when I was talking, I was like, oh, we were having a little bit of a dilemma of like which color to send, because so many of them look like awesome. So, he sent me two. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Like, thank you. Thank you. So, which one should we open? Left or right? I'm guessing this is the B-grade one. So, this is the B-grade one. We'll open this one, just because, um, oh, okay. Out of here, really nice minty looking packaging. In here, oh wow, it even comes with a nice cloth to. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. So, it has a really nice rounded profile kind of design, and this glossy finish on it makes it look super premium. Like, if I put my finger there, like, <laughs> there's like a fingerprint. That's how shiny this thing is. You can, like, oh, hey guys, how's it going? You can see my camera from, like, you can see me and the camera from this angle. So, whoa, that's super, super awesome. All right, while we're at it, let's unbox the other one. Ooh, okay, so the A grade wasn't quite wrapped up the same, but it's also in a nice bag, and whoa. So this one has a very matte kind of finish to it. Even, even the rims themselves are kind of matte. So if you can see here, you can see me there, hey guys. But with this, you can't really see that because the whole design of it has been blasted. So it's been really nice, really matte. So yeah, I know you guys are as excited as I am to try both of these things out, so let's go ahead and do it. So hitched onto the yo-yo, I've got an iYoYo Slacky, my unboxing string of choice. Um, and, oh. Okay. So I remember the last yo-yo, the Indie, was a super smooth, heavy, nice, flowy kind of yo-yo. This yo-yo has, whoops, this yo-yo has a very nimble kind of weight distribution. It's also um, rounded, so it's not like angular or anything, so it doesn't go to like the super extent, but um, ooh, this one is very nimble, very, um, very well balanced. It's because it's a bimetal, right? And I think um, its weight is compensated by, um, its light weight is compensated by a significant amount of power as well. So because it has this power there, 
I don't think that this yo-yo will lack spin time because the rim weight kind of takes care of that. That being said, let's just try this thing out. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. Hmm. The first thing I'm noticing about this yo-yo is that it's literally like it's a very mid-weight kind of rounded yo-yo. So the weight distribution itself feels like I don't know one of those more competitive kind of type yo-yos. Um, and by competitive, I kind of mean like angular, drop near kind of yo-yos. Not, not to say that this yo-yo isn't competitive, but it takes that weight distribution and whacks on a really nice rounded body to it. So it's definitely a unique combination. Something um, I haven't really come across. Whoa. Okay, so that was the glossy copper one. Now we're going to go on to the matte bead blasted teal one. Oh. You know, uh, oh, oh, that's smooth. Yes, very, very smooth. Um, I've always been astounded by the fact that just the finish of a yo-yo um, determines like how it can play. Like I don't know if some of you guys have tried like the glossy shutters, and then you tried the um, the metal or blasted shutters. They play completely differently. This thing's also pretty smooth as well. I think they're around the same level of smoothness. So I think the only thing that marks this as a B grade is. Um, the scratch on it that I can't find. So basically I've been given two really, really solid yo-yos. Damn. Okay, but yeah. Almost feels heavier, the blasted version actually. Um, and it gives you a very smooth feel to it. This yo-yo um, reminds me almost of like a, a little bit of like a Hitman, I guess. Um, it's got a very... Oh, whoa, okay. Usually that works better. Um, let's try and do that. <laughs> ah. Okay. One thing I'm finding about this yo-yo is that it's actually kind of um, hard to catch. So one thing about this yo-yo that I'm noticing now is that it's got quite a um, interesting profile in the sense that like it's slightly narrower than what I initially expected. So if you go and let me find my indie. So I'm just comparing the um, this year to the indie, right? Um, and actually, no, they have very similar, similar kind of widths. Actually, I think um, the monolith itself is actually slightly larger than the indie. But um, I don't know. Maybe it's because how the shape is made. I'm finding this thing slightly harder to catch. I think it's just um, because it's rounded and fast at the same time. It's a combination that I don't usually play with. But um, yeah, I guess the one thing about um, Mithril yo-yos, I guess, or Brian's yo-yos in general, is that it always gets a yo-yo that I would ordinarily wouldn't be interested in, and it makes it in such a way that it becomes my like my main main throw for like couple of months and I'm just like damn I never thought I'd go for a yo-yo like this but when Brian designs it it's like oh maybe I will 
So, this is a, um, a fast, rounded kind of yo-yo, which gives it a very unique, also um, unusual kind of feel on the string. So normally, I, with a weight distribution like this, I'm used to playing with like a drop knee or something, but with this rounded shape, it's like, oh, it's rounded and fast. So I think this would be great for players who um, like rounded yo-yos and also like to play fast. This would be like, I don't know, the next gen kind of genesis or something like that. But in terms of the yo-yo itself, it's awesome. I really, really love this thing. Oh, I even got that Takeshi find, like, damn. So, thank you, Brian, so much. These things are amazing. Okay, let's let's try and get like a, a profile shot there. Thanks, Brian. These are amazing. Thank you very much. Um, if you guys are interested in them, you can go take a look at the link below. And um, yeah, any comments, questions, and criticisms, um, Post them down below, and I will see you guys next time.